guys, welcome back to the channel. Um, guys, you've been following me, guys. You know, I've been getting ready to install a Tesla charge yet on this blow mount. But today is the day I get started. All right, now, when you guys get your Tesla charge, all right, you're gonna have uh, two options a bottom or rear entry plate, and you're gonna have a top mountain plate. Now, this one's designed if your power is gonna be coming from the top outside into the box they suggest use this type of box in my case I'm coming through the rear so I won't be using this I'm gonna be using the flush plate all right for my and it's pretty much to get started you're just gonna line it up get it balanced or get it leveled on your mountain block to get it started so that's what I'm gonna do now all right um, I'm gonna, so I'm not gonna use the top mount I'm gonna use the bottom or rear entry mount they call it um okay so let's get that started all right guys i just want to bring to your attention all right as you stick out my plate up what i'm gonna do what i did as you can see the plate is already on here why i'm doing this because i want to get an idea on relation on how this looks on the plate so this is just a rough installation i wanted to know we're right here is where this begins. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make a little mark indicating where this plate is resting right here. And what I'm gonna do then, I'm gonna come back and just get a level and put a level line on that so I can line it up. So when I put this on, everything is just leveled. So that's how I'm look like I'm approaching it. Okay? And most likely I'm probably gonna go back and do it for the top. Which makes more sense. So it's, I just saw a little mark right here. So now I'm gonna take this off here, this plate off, and come back with it. And now, and now, since I got it where it started, from there to there, I'll line it up to get this installed. install your plate they're gonna give you two mounting screws all right they're gonna give you two mountain screws all right uh, de depending on your application that may it may be enough but in my case since it's outdoors and I'm just going through the the vinyl siding and the sheeting what have you I end up I have some extra screws I'm gonna use these are two and a half inches uh, exterior decking screws so I'm gonna also use these to install my plate so I'm use the one they gave me to get it started and then the remaining holes I'm gonna use the ex exterior just to make sure it's nice and secure on um, the wall to bring it to your attention um i couldn't use their screws they gave me all right so i had to use the two and a half inches exterior screws the mount mines outside due to the distance i guess f from here going into the sheathing and everything else so two and a half inches is, is more than enough to get me secure the shorter ones was not making it so i took them out and just replaced them just for you guys who has, has to deal with this type of insulation. All right. All right, guys. Next thing I'm going to have to do is going to install the unit on the bracket. Now, you're going to have two screws, a big uh, big one and a small one. All right. You're going to need a T20 because these are special nuts there. You're going to need a T20 uh, insulation to hex to the, install these screws. All right. The small ones for the bottom. And the big ones for the top, and that's in relation to the two screws here, here, and here. All right, the big ones on top here, and the smaller ones on the bottom. 
All right. Again, get yourself a T T20, and they'll uh, attach the box to the bracket. So I just want to bring that to your attention. All right. So let's continue on. Okay, I just want to bring it to your attention, which I didn't realize. Uh, they already give you the proper screws, um, the hex nuts adapters for your screws, the T20, and uh, what size is this one? T10. All right, so they already give it to you. Um, I didn't notice it initially when I was uh, doing my install, so uh, they do give it to you so you're able to uh, install your box. All right. I already had a set anyway, so I wasn't even looking for these. But it is included in your in your installation package. All right. All right, guys. Here we go. As you can see, I got it all mounted. All right. So I just want to give you guys a closer look at it. If you've been following me, you see, um, got the mounting block installed. And this is pretty much how it looks. Now, I end up getting a 25 foot length cord uh, for mine, so I have to wrap that around the box. But this pretty much almost uh, completes my little project here. All right, got my three stations water, electric, and charger all set up on the side of the house. All right, this is all done by, by myself. Um, and yeah, again, I'm not an electrician, guys. I'm just a DIY guy who likes doing things himself if he can save a little money. Um, now, what I'm about to do is mount it now, but it's not hooked up. All right, I have to hook up the power to it. Um, I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna be using to, for my installation. All right, guys, as you can see here, this is my wiring I'm using. I'm using 6.3 wiring uh, for my installation. All right, uh, I have to run my line pretty much opposite from the house. My box is on the opposite side of my location where this box is, so that's why I have a. I need a hundred, about a hundred feet of wiring. So I'm gonna be doing that soon uh, because I have to get this wired before I can finish my den area. But uh, this is the, the outside is done. All right, and I'm, I'm totally happy on how it came out. All right, so you guys enjoyed this video on how to install mountain block, mounting blocks on your existing siding and how to get it cut out or what have you. Please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. All right. Um, I will do, I, think, I guess, a segment on hooking up the power to this. Um, but that's a later episode so stay tuned subscribe to the channel hit that notification button uh, when that video is posted but I just want to finally get this done and this is a uh, workstation for my Tesla well when I get a Tesla because this is all done uh, before me buying a Tesla I know I'm a good one I wanted one for a long time so I figured let's get the boxes get things installed now and then I'll done so when I do get my Tesla everything's ready for it alright so I'll talk to you guys again give me a thumbs up and see you on the next one peace out